Hi darlings and welcome back to Pass or Smash! New makeup edition. Yeah. So here on Pass or Smash, we talk about new makeup releases, primarily indie brand launches, and we decide if we want to pass, as in buy a bitch, or add to cart. So if that sounds like something that you want to watch, well, okay, stay. We like having you here. Um, my name's Liz and welcome to my makeup garden. Before we get into all of like the new releases, I just want to show you, I have a new plant baby. So it's a spear point ivy and I'm gonna try not to kill it. That's all I can do. So yeah, I was like, here's the, the cue card for what it is. Cause I honestly didn't know what it was called. I just thought it was pretty, <laughs> like, but I got it for Mother's Day. So exciting stuff. We like, we like a new plant baby, so. All right, darlings, so there's a couple of like new brands. Well, not really, there's one new brand to me this week, but we're gonna, we'll talk about that in a minute. So first on the list for today, Rude Cosmetics is releasing, well, has released their clubbing mascara. So this is a colorful mascara. I couldn't really find a lot of information on the formula itself, but it does come in six colors. There's a green, a navy, a plum, magenta, purple, and a blue, like a lighter blue. Um, it is waterproof and long lasting, which I would hope if it's called clubbing mascara, it's got to be able to stand up to the sweat. Okay. The sweat and the moisture of being in a club. If you know, you know, okay. Um, it retails for $7 and 75 cents, which is like on par with the color pop one. Um, so I'm curious about this. I may actually pick one of these colors up because some of the colors are really pretty to me. Like the magenta, I think is interesting. So those are $7.75 and they are available now on rudecosmetics.com. For me, this is going to be a smash. I'm curious about it. I don't expect much from it. <laughs> like, let's not pretend, okay? I don't expect the world. But for a little pop of color, if I'm doing some Instagram makeup, smash. Yeah, smash. Okay. Fourth Ray Beauty, which is, if you don't know this, Fourth Ray Beauty is like ColourPop's skincare like sister brand. I don't know if they're owned by the same people, but they're definitely sister brand, sister brands. Um, has restocked their Winnie the Pooh um, lip like scrub and mask duo. These are so cute. They come in like the little honey pots. So ColourPop right now, instead of just having a new collection every week, like we got used to seeing, is kind of going through and they're revamping and they're adding like their most popular products back in so people can actually shop them. Like they restocked a bunch of things and this is one of them, it's just really cute. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy that ColourPop has kind of like leveled out, taken a minute and just kind of restocked things. But this little honey pot duo is adorable. Um, if you're looking for a lip mask or a lip scrub, it's restocked and it's only 16 bucks for both. So it does come in that cute little honey pot. The packaging's A+. Plus. I gotta give them credit where credit's due. It's really cute. <laughs> for me, this is gonna be a pass. I'm not, I'm not looking for any of these kind of products right now, but it's really cute. It's super cute, but for me, it's a pass. Okay, so Viseart um, has released the Florette Face Palettes. Boink. So there are three different color palettes and each palette contains two matte eyeshadows, two shimmer eyeshadows, and two cheek products. Now, in a couple of them, the cheek products almost look matte, um, and then some of the others, they almost look shimmery. So I'm not sure if there are, like, is a highlighter in each palette or not. They almost look like blush formulas, but it's hard, it's really hard to tell. <laughs> um, so these are $40 each, but if you are a makeup minimalist, if you travel a lot and you just want something kind of compact that has some really simple shades in it, these might be for you. They're $40 each. I know, $40 each. Um, but they do have magnetic pans. So if you wanted to customize it and, you know, say you like it and you want to customize it, whatever, you know, it's an option. Uh, for me, this is going to be a pass. There is nothing about these that looks appealing to me. I just, I don't get it. I don't get the affection, but if it's for you, I love it for you. So, pass. Okay, so this is a new indie brand makeup. It's new to me. They have like 97,000 followers on Instagram. So clearly they're not new to everybody else. 
but if you're in the UK, um, this might be a good one for you. So Magical Makeup, Oop, there's their logo. Um, they're releasing a summer multi-chrome collection. So there, it looks like there's six pressed shades, but it also said that there's gonna be single shades as well. So I'm not sure if those are gonna be like loose pigments or not. Um, they're real pretty. <laughs> like these are real pretty. They're pricey, they're, they're priced like, I would say on the higher end of what multi-chromes are generally priced at. The ones I was looking at on the site were $21 each. So it's on the higher end, um, but they're real pretty. <laughs> so about these, so I saw six shades um, and it says that they're handmade pressed eyeshadows. I wasn't sure if those were hand pressed or not. So that'd be something to look into, but it says the newest technology, finest multi-dimensional powder pigments supreme quality um they are sold as singles but there will be bun like bundle pricing available um but yeah that's magicalmakeup.uk i thought it was really interesting i don't know anything about this multi this um brand i've never seen it before actually my friend anna who lives over in ireland sent it to me so hey girl what's up um they're really cute and they're real pretty and i'm real tempted so we're gonna say maybe smash, maybe, maybe one color, maybe one color, definitely on my radar. Don't know if there's codes out there, don't know any of that. Um, the account, like the Instagram account has Superdrug tagged, they have Sephora UK tagged, they have Amazon tagged. So I'm not sure if that's because they're looking to get their products in those retailers, but it definitely weren't some further looking into. I would say these are like a maybe smash, like maybe baby. Those are some vibrant, metallic-y looking um, multi-chrome shades. They real pretty. <laughs> so we're gonna say smash, smash. Let's, let's make it awkward. Smash. Okay, moving along. Okay, Unearthly Cosmetics has a new collab with Heather Austin. <laughs> and y'all, when I saw that packaging, I was suspicious because a while, like a few weeks ago, she changed her background to be like butterflies and bugs. And I was like, ooh, love the new background, but felt kind of random, right? But it's cute. So the it's called the Resurgence Collection um, with Unearthly Cosmetics. So it features one clear uh, milky kind of lip gloss that has like high sparkle in it. Um, like pris they called it prismatic shimmer. Um, it has a highlighter duo with like a coppery pink shade and then, um, oh, like a whiter translucent base shade, um, that each have a fuchsia shift, like fuchsia. So like the pink shade of that, um, highlighter duo is like, it says it's coppery. It looks pink to me. <laughs> I don't see a copper as much as I see pink. Um, and it says there's like one color each so that it will work on like multiple, like the spectrum of, of like skin colors. I don't know that I would wear either one of those highlighter colors. If we're going to be 100% honest, I don't know if the highlighter palette's for me, but you can't buy it separately. So if you buy the collection, it comes with these items. So only the palette will be available for purchase separately. So the palette is 12 shades and there um, are vibrant neon mattes. There's that bright red, there's um, multi-chrome, like it says duo, like duo toned neutral shimmers. So I was watching her use this palette and honestly, I feel like with what the packaging is and then what the color story of the palette is, I almost expected a little bit more. It almost feels like it's not enough. Does that make sense? So when I look at this palette, like this color story, it feels a little bit disjointed. Um, like I kind of struggled to see the connection between the shades. And then also like when I was looking at the packaging, there's like that beautiful, like bright green, vibrant metallic-y shift um, on the packaging because the packaging, I guess, has that holographic kind of um, like luminosity to it. And I don't see that represented in the palette. And honestly, that's a little bit disappointing to me because when I first saw that packaging, I was like, oh my God, yes. Like, yes, this multi-chrome, like green, vibrant, metallic, 
give me all of that. And then I get, I see the palette and I'm like, mm. Mm. am I going to buy it? Probably. Um, to, <laughs> I got, listen, you don't have to buy somebody's collab palette to support them, but I really like the brand and I really like the, like her. And I've seen some really gorgeous looks created with this palette already. So they literally announced this like yesterday, I think it was. And there are some gorgeous looks already. So Allie Dawson, if you don't follow Allie Dawson, no worries, but check out the look that she created with this palette. It's really pretty. It's a beautiful look. So I'm like, mm, tempting. Do I have these shades somewhere in my collection already? I think I have most of them. Maybe not, oh, sorry. Maybe not that like grayish purple in the middle, but I have a lot of these shades, but I think it's really pretty. I will probably like the, so the, <laughs> the palette is the only part of this collection that you can buy separately, but here's the deal. I have an affinity for boxes. I know that's stupid. I know like, you know, but if it's a good box, I want to keep it. <laughs> and that looks like a good box. That packaging looks like a good box. And I know I'm just justifying it to myself because I want the box with the bugs on it, but <laughs> I'm going to say smash. <laughs> I want the box with the bugs on it. I know that sounds stupid. And I, I like the lip gloss. I think the lip gloss is actually pretty. Um, but I want the box with the bugs on it. <laughs> so it might, it might end up being a smash. We're going to say smash. We're just going to say smash. Now codes do not work on this collection. Okay. They don't work on the collection. The collection is $86. The palette is $45. The other two items are not available in, like individually. Um, but yeah, we're going to say smash. Ain't no shame in my game. I want that box with the bugs. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but I will find something. I'm going to find something. Okay. It is a busy week for indie releases. Let me just tell you, friends. Okay, so Odin's Eye is releasing probably the most random thing that like I just wasn't expecting it. Maybe it's just me, right? Not making any assumptions. Maybe it's just me, but they're releasing two palettes. So each palette contains 15 pans um, and there's a variety of finishes in each, okay? So there's metallics and mattes and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, so the first one is called Jewels and Gem. And it's gray. I think it's really gray leaning. Tell me if you think it's gray leaning in the comments below, but I think it's kind of gray leaning um, with pops of blue and purple and pink. Um, when I look at this palette, I kind of think neutral adjacent, like I think it's neutral adjacent and, but I just don't know that I like this neutral adjacent. I'm very much on the fence about it. So here's the deal. Like I, I think I want to love it, but I just don't know that I love all the grays. So I don't wear a lot, like a huge amount of cool tone makeup. I just, you know, that's, I have a warmer skin tone. And so I generally gravitate towards warmer toned eyeshadows. Like I do, like when I reach for like a neutral adjacent, I kind of want like greens and like, I want oranges and like that kind of thing. So I look at this palette and I want to love it. And in some of the pictures I've seen, it looks a little bit darker than these swatches, but I don't know if I love it. <laughs> and then, the other palette is like green leaning, okay? So it's called Stone and Rock, which honestly, I feel like they should have transposed the names. The names don't seem like they fit to me. I think Jewels and Gem, and I think the greens, because they remind me of like emeralds and tourmalines and like almost a little like turquoise kind of pop with that, like bright, like green shimmer there. And then I look at like Stone and Rock and I think of the grays and you know, so I don't, I don't know. The names almost seem like they should be like flip flop, them, you know? Um, and this one's like new, like neutral green color story. Obviously there's like a variety of finishes. You can see that there's like, you know, shimmers and, and mattes and all that. And both palettes go from light to dark, which I love. Um, but the green in the green palette, a few of those shades remind me of the greens from the Hella palette, which was, um, Angelica Nikvist. It was her collab palette. So they kind of rem remind me of a couple of those shades, but I don't, I don't know. I'm torn. I'm really torn because I want to love it, 
And I just don't know that I do. And it was like, this will be the second, yeah, is this the second Odin's Eye release in a row that I'm kind of like, hmm, hmm, you know what I mean? Now, if this is still around, so apparently, by the way, this is not a limited edition item. These items are going to be part of their collection for a while. They may sell out. Um, but apparently they are planning to restock them. So if you feel like you, you're on the fence and you want to rush out and you just want to buy them, don't feel like you have to, okay? These are going to come back. Um, I'm going to say a pass for now. I can't guarantee that come Black Friday or like some other really good sale that if these were on sale that I wouldn't buy them. One, the completionist in me wants them. <laughs> I have most of the, like the, you know, newer Odin's Eye releases. I don't have the last, you know, triple palette um, launch. So I probably should have bought because I like those, but I'm trying to be good. But anyway, we're going to say pass for now. The completion is the collector in me wants them, but I don't know that I'm in love with the color stories. I don't know. I kind of want to see more, you know, I'm kind of like on the fence. I just want to see more. So we're going to say pass. There is a second component to this launch as well. Um, and that is a jewelry collection. So there's like necklaces and bracelets and earrings. It looks like there's two different collections. Now get this pricing. Okay, guys, are you ready for it? Hold on to your britches because you might shit your pants. So the all products bundle, which is the two jewelry lines, which is like costume jewelry from what I could tell. Um, and the two palettes is retailing for $217.16. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, or you can get the palettes for $35.90 each, which is totally reasonable. I think that's a reasonable price, especially for indie makeup, okay? So those are actually available now as of time of filming. Oh, you know what? They're not available now. Um... They're not available as of time of filming. So they're launching May 20th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, but by the time this video go li goes live on Sunday morning, they will be live. So uh, I couldn't find where it said you could or could not use codes. So I'm not 100% sure if you can use a code. But what I will do, like I do every week, is I will put a code for the brand in the detail box before you can try it at checkout if you want to and see if it'll work. Might as well, you know, save yourself some coins. So, um, but I'm not sure if the coins will work on this collection or not, or uh, codes. I keep wanting to say coins and I know that's not right, but I keep wanting to say it. Anyway, I will put all the details as always in the description box below because you know what, you know I take care of you guys, okay? Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to say pass for now. For now. Definitely a pass on the jewelry. I am not, this is not my aesthetic. It's just not, if it's not gaudy and ridiculous or sleek and like sleek and stylish, I'm not interested. These are gaudy, but I don't think they're ridiculous. So we're going to pass. All right. Kimchi Beauty is releasing their Cherry Chic collection. So it's a two product collection. There's a 15 pan palette um, that's reds and greens and yellows. Um, and then there's mattes, shimmers, and glitters. There are glitters in this palette. From what I can tell, there are three glitters. Um, so the palette is called the Sex Kitten Palette. Um, and the lip gloss, which looks like a clear pink lip gloss. I'm not sure if it's a plumping gloss. I didn't see anything on that. It just kind of looks like a standard gloss. Um, it's called the Puthy Cat, P-U-T-H-Y. Don't get it twisted. Uh, cat uh, lip gloss. So the entire collection is releasing for $38 each. Uh, the palette by itself is $30 and the lip gloss is $12. Um, and like I said, I'll have all the website and everything below. For me, this is going to be a pass it's giving me major strawberry, is it the strawberry shortcake palette by Glam Light? It's giving me that, like that vibe, um, except it has glitters in it, you know? And I'm, I don't love glitters. I gotta be in a real special fucking mood for glitters. And 
I'm just not in it. So pass. All right. Dose of Colors is celebrating their 10th anniversary. So they're releasing a collection. So their 10 year birthday collection uh, consists of a 10 pan eyeshadow. Let's see. It's called, it's a 10 eyeshadow palette. Excuse me. It's a 15 pan neutral palette. It's basically like a real neutral looking palette with a pop of burgundy, you know. Um, there's the Black Rose Liquid Lipstick and Corresponding Lip Liner. Um, there's a Nude Rose Liquid Lipstick and a Nude Rose Lip Liner as well. There is a, um, like a face sponge duo that's actually really cute. It's at Burgundy Color Sponges. Um, I am interested in the sponges not really interested in anything else maybe the lashes um there's a, it's a dime lashes as well so the pricing on this is the sponges duo was 19 dollars for both the liners are 18 dollars each the liquid lipsticks are 20 dollars each the palette is 52 dollars so for me 90 like five percent of this collection is a pass i'm kind of interested in the black like the black rose color i think it's a beautiful red but I have enough in my collection right now. I'm not really looking for anything. Um, but I like the idea of the sponges. I don't, it, it's the color. I know it's the color, but it's just pretty. So we're gonna say pass though on the collection overall, but uh, congrats to Dose of Colors for 10 years. So, all right, excuse me, I have still analog. Gotta turn the old uh, notebook there. Oh my gosh, is that it? Are we done? We're done. No fucking way. So anyway, darlings. Yeah, I think I got everything. Anyway, darlings, I love your faces. Thank you for being here and for subscribing and for liking and sharing. And if you made it this far, will you leave me like a butterfly emoji? You know, because I don't know why. I just think it's pretty. So... <laughs> Uh, as always, thank you for watching Pass or Smash. All of the details are in the description box below and all of the images and all of the pictures that I pop up here um, come from the individual websites or like brands' websites or their social media accounts. Uh, that's where I take them from. So anyway, have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, whatever the hell time it is where you are. And I love your faces. Thanks for being here. And uh, yeah, this was episode 10 of Pass or Smash. So... This remains my favorite video that we film every week. I have so much fun looking for stuff. And I have found that Passer Smash allows me to talk about what I like and what I don't like about a product. And it's actually helped me buy less. So I kind of get it out of my system by looking at the products themselves and going, okay, this is what I like about it. This is what I don't. And I kind of get it out of my system. So good job me for not caving on impulse. And I love your faces. Bye. Until next time.